In this lecture, we'll go ahead and talk about heteroscedasticity. Now, hetero means different and scedasticity means variance. So heteroscedasticity really refers to a situation of different variants when the variance keeps on changing. Now, let's just try and contradict this with the help of a concept called homoscedasticity. Homo means same. And scedasticity again means variance. So homoscedasticity is the concept of same variance. Heteroscedasticity is the concept of different variance. Please understand this thing. One of the assumptions of the ordinary least square estimates or the ordinary least square method is homoscedasticity. But one of the violations of this assumption is heteroscedasticity. Okay. So what is the aim of this chapter? The aim of this chapter is to go ahead and understand what is the nature of heteroscedasticity, to understand the consequences of heteroscedasticity, to understand how to detect heteroscedasticity, and to find the remedial measures of heteroscedasticity. To begin with, let us try and understand what is the nature of heteroscedasticity. See, for example, let's go ahead and take this scenario. I am taking PDI here, where my PDI is personal disposable income, and I'm taking savings on the y-axis. And I am saying that savings is a function of personal disposable income. Obviously, this is true. As personal disposable income increases, the amount of savings also increase. So if you carefully look at the graph that I have drawn here, you would go ahead and notice that there is an upward sloping line. This upward sloping line really shows that as PDI increases, so does the savings. You know, I'm just going ahead and meeting all the expected values of savings given PDIs. And then I'm getting this regression line. If you notice carefully, you will see that I get a plot like this. And more or less, you would notice that the variance is the same. The variability is the same. Same variability implies that the variability of the savings, the variability of savings remains the same as PDI increases, which means that, of course, I understand if your PDI, personal disposable income is 1000, you may save maybe 200, let's say. Or you may save maybe anything between 150 to 280. And I understand that as your income increases to maybe 20,000, you may save anything between 1500 to 2800. So that's not the point. The point is that we are talking about the variation. And when I say that I'm talking about the variation, I'm saying that for all the people whose income is 1000, I find out the expected value. I find out the average of the savings given these income level is 1000. And then I say that actual values of the saving, saving will be different, right? This is the expected value of the saving. 
So actual value of the saving may be above or below 1000. So the question is that here also when the income is 2000, actual value of the saving may be above or below 1000. Here also it may be above or below 1000 and so on. So what I'm going ahead and pointing out is that this variability around the expected value, this remains the same. It remains unchanged. It remains the same. Then it is homoscedasticity. And if this variability also changes around the mean value, as you increase your income, then the gap. So, you know, I'm saying that when income is 1000, then around the mean value, it is plus minus 10%, the actual savings. But when it is 20,000, then around the mean value, it is plus minus 25%. So, if this variability of how your savings change, around the mean value as your PDI, your income changes. If this variability also changes, then it is a concept of heteroscedasticity. So as the personal disposable income increases, we understand that average level of savings increase. The variance of savings around its mean value remain the same at all levels of PDI. So if I say that whether my personal disposable income is 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 20,000 or 1 lakh, for all these levels of income, when I find the average of the savings and then when I find the actual savings and I see how much they vary around their mean values, if that variation remains the same, then it is called homoscedasticity. But notice here, here the variation is only this much. And here the spread is very huge. The actual values, which are represented by the black length of the line, this, this is the actual value. See, the actual values can be here, or the actual value can be here, or here, or here. Whereas here the actual values are over a shorter gap. Do you see this? This is this is the variability around the mean value. The mean is represented through this line, right? So if I take for PDI being this level, PDI maybe being 1000, when I take that the actual when I say that okay, this is my average. And this is my variability. And in the other case, when I say, okay, this is my average and this is my variability, I check that here the variability with the mean is huge. The gap around the mean is huge. So this means that I am varying a lot around the mean. My actual value can be so low, so before the mean. If mean is this here, my actual level is so below the mean. And here my actual levels just lie within this range. So if that variability keeps on changing, then it is the concept of unequal variance. And that is known as heteroscedasticity. So what does this mean? High income people on an average save more than low income people. This is represented by the upward sloping regression line. That as income increases, your savings also increase. 